We are on an expedition to get to find out what the most beautiful place in the Pearl of Africa is. And guess what? Every time we traverse the Pearl of Africa, we get to places that are challenging to the eye, of course, in terms of securing top place. And of course, today we are traversing Fort Porto. It sits over 1,500 meters above sea level. And guess what? We have immersed ourselves in the rolling hills the lush green and the amazing countless crater lakes in the Pearl of Africa but right here in Fort Porto. Now today I bring you to one of the most challenging hills. I will be telling you its name in just about a few. My name is Olivia the screen diva girl and this is Karibu travel magazine come along this hike with me and get to find out how beautiful the pearl of africa is with a 360 view right here in fort porto city arousing and next to holiness might not be the best of terms to describe cheganyo hill but were the perfect ones at this trip that we had to fort porto dubbed the tourism city Four crater lakes are in the tourists' vicinity, with the biggest of them all being Lake Saka, the Lava Dammed, Wabikere, the Blue Hole, and Lake Chigere. But that's not all that meets the eye. The Kaliango Rolling Hills, Kamutebi Swamp, Renzori Ranges, and the Fort Porto City are all at a glance. But there's a catch point and rules to this game. This view can only and I mean only be enjoyed by those willing to hike. The slopes are steep backbreaking, joint cracking, and breathtaking. This experience could be related to child labor, but when the baby is popped out, it's joy and joy to the world. Or rather, it's joy to the world. Let me tell you, if you want to get next to holiness, <laughs> this is the hill. I know, right? <laughs> if there's one thing they can't lie to you about, you can get used to hikes. But dear, I have hiked. I've been hiking. But everywhere you go, it's a challenge. Actually, I said no, but then there's no return. The moment you get up, they tell you, I made this like a journey. That's when they tell you, we don't go back. You go up, the exit route is up there. But anyways, Uganda and Yuma. Could this experience have contributed to the name Cheganyo? Our guide, Melon, is kind enough to let us in. My name is Nelon. Uh, I'm standing here on top of Cheganyo Hill in Fort Porto, a place I can say is one of the most arousing and alluring in Uganda. Like you can see, this place, as you're on top of this hill, there are four crater lakes. One is called uh, Lake Saka, that big one, it's a lava dammed lake, and it has an arm, which is a crater lake on its side. It's also part of Lake Saka as well. And then on my right side, there is uh, Lake Wabikere, which is a blowhole. It was an incomplete eruption. And then water filled up that hole and it became a lake of, of, of sorts. Then behind us is one of the most uh, famous crater lakes in this region. It's called Lake Chigere. And uh, behind you guys, behind the camera, we have uh, the Kaliango Rolling Hills. 
those hills there with, with the caldera on top. And then we have Kamutevi uh, Swamp. We have the Renzori Mountains right there. We have Fort Porto City on my left. We have Mountains of the Moon University. We have Katojo Prisons. We have Mohoti Barracks and so many attractions in this place. So when you're here, you get to experience one of the best views in Uganda. There is also Nyakasura School where those guys uh, wear kilts, those red iron sheets. And all that you get to enjoy it after hiking this Cheganyo Hill. It's a breathtaking hike, not for everyone. The name Cheganyo means, in our local language in Rutoro, it means something that people eat, try to avoid Cheganyo. Kweganyo is to avoid Kweganyo. To avoid. So that's why they named this uh, hill Cheganyo. Like you guys realized when you're trying to, at the start of the hike, everyone was like, ah, ah, we have to. I'm not going, I'm not going. It had to take so much convincing for people to hike. So that's where the name uh, came from. This one, this lake is called uh, Chigere Kyanyinamuiru because on the other side of the, the, of, of the lake, there is a rock with a footprint of, uh, it's believed to be the footprint of uh, Nyinamuiru. So that's why the lake is called uh, Lake Chigere. Yeah, and uh, behind uh, the, the rolling hills is where we find the Mavere Ganyinamuiru caves and so many other breathtaking attractions. This hill is raved by the Batoro and has loads of cultural inclination pointing to the ancestor Nyinamuiru whose footprints lie behind Lake Chigere from which the name is derived. Away from culture, what other activities have evolved over time and could preoccupy the tourist. Uh, people come here for filming, film production, TV production. People come here for photography. People come here just to relax, like you're seeing those guys there. People do exercises, like you can see this guy here. Uh, by the way, this is also a prayer mountain. Most times you find people here praying deep into the night. And uh, down there, there is fishing in the crater lakes, actually all those crater lakes have fishing on there as one of the main activities. It can, it's an economic activity and a tourism activity. We do have a sporty guy over here. I just want to pick his mind. What has brought you up here? Oh, hey, first and foremost, my name is David Bright and I live here, this is my hometown. Uh, I love here, you know, most of the times, uh, most evening when I'm free from work, I just retreat around because this is an amazing place as you could say. I mean you can see all the view of all the town and it's really amazing, you know? Is there any other beautiful place as compared to this? Oh yeah, we got many here. We got many here. There are very many such a place like this. I mean, yeah, you can talk with us, you know, we take you to the very because this is a let's say we fall for the city. So we have amazing creatures. Um, aside from hiking, are there any other activities that you have partaken? Yeah, they're there. Like, which ones are those? Um, maybe it could be which I'm, which I might think that you want. It could be football, it could be other games, other fun things. We have a lot of things here. But despite her magnificence, Chekanyo Hill still sounds new in some people's ears. Getting down Chekanyo Hill is no games as well. With the knees already strained by the hike, one should go slow. We opt for the land that's right beside the locust gardens whose sole responsibility is to keep an eye on Cheganyua Hill. There's good news at the footprints of Cheganyua. Well deserved a roasted meat awaits us. But even when the juicy beef stared right in my face, guess what part I chose? The cow's tank. I can tell you that hike has really taken a toll on me, but I'm praying and hoping that this meat right here will give me the satisfaction and the energy that I have burnt up there. I can see there is lots of parts of a cow to eat. There is um, liver, there is beef, uh, like the beef flesh. There is uh, tongue. I am going to have the tongue. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have the tongue. I know for sure it's, it's going to definitely be the first time I am testing it but I cannot wait to see how does it taste and guess what you can only find it right here in Fort Porto so I'll be telling you how it tastes.
I get to interact with some of the locals about what exactly it is they love about Fort Porto and to get to also understand what some of the common tricky sayings are in the rhetorical language and could be a chance for us to get to immerse ourselves in the rich rhetorical language. Amanya. Amaya wa mputa jona atalieva. Mtu tweze wanona kanyama njagala kumanya kanyama kanoka chikante kandiga kambu. Kanukante ateka womu. Ka womu. Be tande mwe birungo binji. Birungo ngachi. Eh ovi mali to bilaba. Mixing yona mweli yo. Na Eyange bangambye yasa tusimanyo babanse ndo bate banse tena yenja kala kumanya endala yambe e yasa tu eyo tano walo walo kana katini kabili ate chibumba e chibumba cho chasa chasa sava atenga gocha malungi sho yakala ku fort port otuze fetu libalambuzi tuveyo kuche olusozo olu gwechiche chisingo kusanyusa ku fort port membera Tubera mukasana, emisana, kabera, mkuba, mkuba, kawunga zi tuta mukasana. Kwa ya tutu? Ate mkuba, mkuba nge tukubie. Eh, chila biko zi kawunga zi. Eh, kumacha wawade yo msana. Emisana, mkuba. Kawunga zi msana, tolaba. Ite biyo bulambu zi kwebi singo kusanyi sana. Vanga mamoro kwa mwine so zite muzifana ko na ye kwenga kwebi chebi singo kusanyi. Tui na mawele ganyina mwiru wali. So zi. Maybe I'll be me. You to to the term busy. You're not the time we're going to move forward. Yeah, we're going to be bad then, but we're going to be bad then. 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 We're Ah, omusaida tayangu kasinga, omusaida tuari yomukai, na usoma kuroleru, mto musaida tayangu. Aba sobo la, naba mule, naba mule, naba sobo. Tuli kumupira, tuli kumupira.